A great big happy birthday to all you Virgos out there. Welcome to your solar return video. This is a peek ahead at the general energies for every month for your entire birthday year, okay? This will be a shortened version. I do offer an in-depth full version where I really go in deep every month. You get a full year reading. It is available to you. That video generally goes for more than an hour long, okay? So keep that in mind when you're ordering that, that video. You can find my information in the description box below. So these are some of the decks I'll be using. I will also have other decks on hand depending on the energy for that month and how I will clarify. So thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy your birthday reading. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you love this reading, if you want more of this for other signs as well. Thanks. Here's your reading. Hey Virgo, here we go. I've taken the time off camera to meditate, shuffle, and pull these oracle cards for you. I'm sorry if my Virgo OCD is getting to me because I've got stacks of oracle cards here for every month, beginning with September this year, September 2018, and we go all the way through August of 2019. And so these will be your general energies for every month throughout the next year, okay? So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Not all messages may or may not resonate with everyone, okay? So some of these might be familiar to you. You can watch this anytime throughout the year and compare and see how things ended up working out for you, panning out for you. Um, at the same time, I want to remind everyone, energy is fluid. If you do not like the energy of a particular month, remember that what you do, your own free will choices, you know, that has a lot to do with how your days, your weeks, your months, your years play out. So remember, you have the power to manifest the life that you want. So let's get started. I will pull clarifying cards for you if I need to, because generally this reading is a very lengthy reading when I do them for personal clients. Again, if you'd like this birthday reading, it is available to you. You can reach me with uh, my email, virgoangeltaro at gmail.com or through Instagram at virgoangeltarot, okay? So right off the bat, this month, happy birthday. I am recording this on my birthday. So happy birthday, Virgos. These will be your September 2018 uh, general energies. It's up to you. Blessing in disguise and calling in your soulmate, okay? So it is general. Remember, I'm pulling from general and I will also be pulling uh, rom romance angel oracle cards plus also an advice one, daily guidance from your angels. So it's up to you, whatever the situation is that became a blessing in disguise, whether you didn't get the job that you had wanted, whether you are in current separation, whether you realize that somebody that you know, you had really wanted to be with months ago, ended up being a blessing in disguise that it didn't work out because guess what? You're calling in your soulmate and that person that you were hung up on or that you were really trying to work things out with wasn't the right one for you. So it is a blessing in disguise. I'm gonna read this to you. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reason behind the reasons excuse me, behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Now, I just want to tell you because I did shuffle and I pulled all these cards, monthly energies, okay? They all flowed, three different decks. It just was so synchronistic on how some of these advice cards and romance angel cards connected with the angel answers oracle so whatever situation you're going through in the month of S september perhaps something didn't plan out you didn't get the house you didn't get the car you didn't get the loan the business the job it didn't work out for a reason and you have to trust in divine timing they saved you from something that could have gone terribly wrong. The universe, God, your angels, whoever it may be. And now, because you're in a whole, going through a totally different direction, you have the ability to move forward in a different way, whether it's with your soulmate or a job or a home or a situation that you love. So let me just get a couple cards to clarify this as we move on from September to October. Give me a couple cards for September. Yeah, look. 
whatever the situation was, perhaps was disappointing to you as you were moving on to your path, you felt like this was the right, the right path for you. However, temper yourself. You may have felt very disrupted in the whole situation because in your mind, in your heart, you felt you knew which way was your right path. But it is up to you how you accept this blessing in disguise because you may not be realizing that it truly is a blessing in disguise for the moment. So as you change, as you move, as you evolve, because this whole year of cards that I pulled for you, wow, Virgo, talk about changes, evolution. This is going to be a significant year for some of you Virgos. Um, you know, some of these months may apply to you. The whole year may apply to you or, you know, maybe only one or two months apply to you. Take it with, you know, with stride, however this message comes to you. So it's up to you how you handle a disappointing situation in which you were trying to move forward in your life. It ended up being a blessing and disgrace in disguise and because of this blessing in disguise it's now you know changed your view your optimism your path on how you move forward from here on out so remember virgo not getting that job not getting that loan that business that soulmate who you thought was your soulmate really and truly was a blessing in disguise for you and now you can call in your real soulmate now you can find that job that home whatever it may be that you really really wanted for yourself something that you felt was meant for you and perhaps you were imagining or you know visualizing that the one you already thought was for you was the correct one but the angels are saying no honey we got bigger plans for you let that one go we got something bigger and better let's keep it moving so here we go into october 2018 and we have peaceful resolution so as you realize that that blessing in disguise wasn't exactly what you know you figure out that hey I had a specific idea about this person, this situation, whatever it may be, and come to find out days, weeks, months later that, oh man, I was so wrong about that. I'm glad it didn't work out. I've accepted that it was a blessing in disguise. I've dodged a bullet and wow, thank goodness, because there is a peaceful resolution with the decisions that have been made for you from the divine, from your angels, from the universe, right? And with last month calling in your soulmate, you now, going into October, you're feeling all kinds of chemistry with other people, right? You're trying to, um, oops, wrong way, this one here. If this is about finding a peaceful resolution, you've accepted, you've accepted, you've made peace with it. Hey, that didn't work out, all good. Something better comes along, a creative project. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity in your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion toward your life as you embark on this creative project. Maybe you pick up a hobby. Maybe it has to do with a new job that you're trying to, you know, come into. Perhaps it's a creative project at work where you find that you have chemistry with other coworkers, other friends, other people in your life. Maybe it's a project. Maybe you take a writing workshop. Maybe you take a, you know, a painting, ceramics, you know, something different. You know, one of those paint the night wine type movies, you know, I mean, um, events. Maybe you meet someone there that you have chemistry with. It's some sort of creative project where you really, really feel at peace, at ease. You feel good about moving forward. You've let go of the past disappointments that perhaps you know, came in at the end of summer as you moved into Virgo season. And now we go into fall and you feel, you feel good. Look at that. Balanced, got rainbows on her mind, heart lit up, crown chakra lit up. I am ready for what's to come, right? And the angels are saying, hey, you know that band you like? You know that musician you like? You know that, you know, whatever creative expression form, creative form of expression that you have? Guess what? It's all good. You can enjoy it. You can, you know, fulfill whatever part of you was feeling a bit empty because you were so worried about something else. And so you meet new people, you connect with new people, or you reconnect with someone on a different level. 
Maybe you take on this project with someone that you've been friends with for a long time and then you see a different side to them. That's all possible for you. Maybe your partner finally decides to do something with you because for the most part, you've probably been used to doing everything on your own even though you've been in a relationship for quite some time. You take up a new hobby, they see a change in you and then they're like, hey, I wanna know what this is about. I wanna join you. When's the next workshop? When's the next, you know, whatever it may be. Maybe you take up yoga and you're loving it and your partner sees how awesome it is and they want to do it with you. So let's move forward here. Let's get a couple clarifiers before we move into October. There is a peaceful resolution with the three of wands and how you move forward with your future, waiting for your ships to come in. This creative project that you end up going into will make you feel, look at that, all about charging ahead, moving. These are all cards of moving ahead. So that disappointment you thought was just uh, never ending because you didn't get what you had wanted. The outcome wasn't the way it was supposed to be in your mind. Now you're feeling, hey, you know what? It's time I, you know, shift to a much more positive, much more positive path for myself. Do right for myself. This isn't what I wanted. You make peace with it. You start moving forward. Look at that. You really start moving forward, right? These are all cards about forward movement. October will be a month for you as you transition towards a new path. And you're going towards November, the holidays, in a, with a much different sense of self. You are now feeling comfortable with who you are, what you're about. You're feeling much more at ease, authentic to who you are, and you're not worried about whether or not things work out for you right okay so let's move on to november 2018 because of everything that you had been going through you know it creates a sense of doubt in some situations and so the angels are saying come november you know as you start feeling like you're on the right path for what's best for you you need to trust trust in the divine trust in your guides that they are looking out for you they are guiding you down the correct path However, sometimes we may get blinded by our doubts and fears and we're not sure if we are going down the right path. So you must listen, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet place, quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you is to listen. Now the angels come November are sensing that you're going to have these fears and doubts. You were feeling all fired up September, October as you were making peace with the situation that didn't pan out for you. You let go of that false sense of self, that disappointment. However, as you come into November, you may feel some sort of awakening as you start to drop and fall away everything that did not serve you and so at that time you may be feeling a sense of separation whether it's from who you were before or your current partner or perhaps as you are changing and evolving in this state you realize you know what i need to trust what the universe is giving me i need to trust the guidance from the divine i need to trust the situation that's being handed to me that's being shown to me this path that is being shown to me which way do i go do i need a break from my partner do i travel do they travel do not let look at this they don't even want to shuffle do not let fears and doubts and insecurity bog you down trust in the divine trust in yourself quiet the mind and listen find the clarity within if you need to take a break from whatever the situation is or if you start to feel as though you are now separating from the person who you thought you were to transforming into the person who you have been meant to be november is the time for you so the page of swords it is time to cut out the bullshit and that's what's happening here. You are cutting everything out. The death card says, yes, 
get rid of the bullshit start all over again look at that and you got the three of wands once again because that is your focus how you're going to move forward but you need to get clear with yourself because you do not want the seven of cups to cause all this confusion you start thinking wow i have so many choices so many options here but really don't allow the seven of cups to come between you and your partner whether it's in love business friendship whatever it may be okay so cut away what does not serve you let go of the heavy weights the dead weight let go of that person place or thing that has been holding you back from really transforming into the person that you're meant to be your end goal has always been about the future You've always been with that mindset of planning for what's to come, planning for what's ahead. So remember, trust in the divine path that you are given. Trust that you are being divinely guided. Listen to the messages from your angels. And if you need some time apart from your partner to focus on yourself, on the changes, or if it's the, pa or if it's the fact that you are in separation mode with your partner that's really got you feeling you know uneasy then it's time for you to realize that there needs to be a, you know some trust there you need to be able to move forward and do so trust you know trusting your partner trusting yourself and if you are having trust issues in a relationship talk to each other listen not just be open to listening to them, but really, really listening. When two people are open with each other and listen to each other, they allow each other to be comfortable and communicate clearly. So that was November. Let's move on to December. Guess what happens after December? I don't know. What are you thinking is going to happen after December? Whatever negative, toxic thought you were thinking, like, oh my God, my life is over. That's unlikely, honey. It's not going that way. Just be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself. For we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. And guess what happens with the romance angels? Well, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. That month of November where your trust in the universe, in the divine, in your partner becomes the forefront of that month for you. Be honest with yourself. Were you overreacting? Were you thinking your partner was cheating? Were you thinking your partner was being dishonest? It's unlikely that that was the situation. Whatever fear-based, toxic, negative thoughts you were having, it's unlikely. And that's what the angels are saying for the month of December as you leave November. And so when you are honest with yourself and the situation, face it head on and you will be able to reconcile with this person. So let's move on. Let's see. Clarifying cards for December 2018. We have unlikely, be honest with yourself and reconciliation. And we had just ended November with that card, Knight of Swords. So you will be cutting away all the crap. As you transition into December, release yourself from those negative thoughts, fear-based energies. Be honest with yourself. Let's get a card for be honest with yourself. Okay, that's too many cards, but I'm going to show them to you anyway because we have the Knight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So, you know, you want to move forward together with someone, but you're doing it slowly. So let's see. Be honest with yourself. One more card, please. A lot of the same cards. So you know that you are going through changes. You're transitioning. You're awakening to be your authentic self. To give this person, this partner, everything that you want in return. Your life, your identity, your sense of self. It is unfolding. You are manifesting some changes here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Divine guidance is saying the empress and the emperor. You reconcile with that soul energy partner. 
from the divine. The divine is saying, look, we know we get what you, we get what's going on. We understand you are changing. You are transitioning. You are transforming your life, your goals, everything you want for yourself. The Knight of Swords says, I'm cutting away the bullshit and I'm charging ahead. Fuck all this shit that's been weighing me down. Peace out. I got to go. I got to do what's best for me because I am in that mode of becoming who I know I truly am. And when you transform from the death card to the empress or the emperor for my Virgo mates, right? You've taken control for that new sense of self, new self-worth, self-respect, self-love. You are ready to reconcile whatever situations were weighing on you. Doesn't mean you get back together, right? But it means that you forgive, you make peace, and you release yourself because perhaps there was a toxic situation, friendship, family, relationship, job, whatever it may be that you've just had to make peace with in order to really continue manifesting. And that is how you end, like how you end 2018. That's how you close out 2018. Let's move on to January 2019. What do we have here? January 2019. So as you've become that empress, that emperor, right? Your new beginning, you are so ready for that brand new year, right? Yes. Full on hell to the yes. Your angels are saying, you ready for 2019? We're coming for you. Whatever it is that you want to manifest, we are here for you. The answer is yes. Seek the guidance of your angels. They're asking, what do you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. How amazing is that for the month of January 2019? and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you finally just let go of the bullshit. You say goodbye 2018. Ain't nobody got time for that, right? Goodbye to all the bullshit. I've let it go. I'm starting 2019, a whole, whole new year, whole new me. How many times have we said that, right Virgos? But this time, this time a lot of the changes you are trying to make the life you are trying to manifest, it sticks, Virgo. The angels are saying, yes, yes, honey, you've got what it takes to make these changes. You've got what it takes to manifest. But before you start moving ahead, what do you desire? Don't go in with these wishy-washy ideas, right? Because you've been through too much. If you think, oh, I'm just going to take a break from fighting, you know, everything that I've been wanting and not seeing the results that I want, well, guess what? Make it clear to yourself, to your angels, to the universe, make it clear. What do you desire? And if it's a new love, a relationship, a soulmate, there are some romantic feelings here that you've been feeling. Don't go in being stuck in your head. Let it go. Whatever you have felt that has weighed down on you in the past, let it go. Get real and get clear with what it is that you desire. The type of future, the type of partner, the type of job, the type of home. Write it down. Vision board. Do something about it. That king of swords is saying, mm-hmm, see this sword? Cutting away all the bullshit. No more fighting through life. No more being stuck in my head, self-sabotaging my future. These romantic feelings, these desires I have for change in my life, they're real and worth exploring. One more card, please, for that romantic feelings card. One more card. Okay. So, I don't like these cards. I'm going to pull a few more. Because as you start the new year, 
I feel as though you start all fired up and charged up, ready to change yourself, your life path, your, you know, your focus. You feel focused like the first week of the year, but then real soon you start feeling like, oh my God, maybe I can't do this. What's going on? I'm, I've cut enough out. Then you start overthinking. You start worrying. Perhaps you have a fight with this person that you're interested in and then you start right away thinking, oh, what was I thinking? This isn't going to work out with them. Clarify romantic feelings, please. Queen of Wands. One more card for the romantic feelings. Eight of Wands. And King of Pentacles. So, this is about a romantic partnership and communication that needs to be had. However, don't get stuck in your head about every little speed bump that you get because you will end up stuck in your head. Look at that, five of swords. Is this like you battling yourself, not being able to accept? Lord, nine of swords. You are not able to accept this new beginning. It's like it's too good to be true. Why, Virgo? Why question it? The angels are saying yes, and what do you desire? They are asking you. Hey, home girl. Hey, home boy. We're about to make your dreams come true. What do you desire? And you're like, oh my God, I can't handle the pressure. No. Virgos, cut it out. I'm a Virgo. I know what that feels like. So let's clarify this. Yeah, see, look. That new beginning, you start overthinking things about how you're going to move forward. Oh, come on. Overthinking things about how you're going to move forward, how you're going to make this manifest and continue that past that path of manifestation, whether it's with a relationship, a couple, a job that you love, manifesting that financial future you've been waiting on, emails, texts, stuff going on here. You're just like, uh, is this really happening? Am I overthinking this? This can't really be happening. Yes, yes. What do you desire? Things are working out for you. Things are looking up. And I check to see what's on top in the Ten of Cups. Virgo. When you reach this point, remember this video. Do not overthink it. Do not get stuck in your head. And do not assume that this is too good to be true. Because if you go in through life or you start every path thinking that can be possible, well, then you're going to make it not possible. Okay, Virgo? Don't, don't worry. Don't get anxious. Let's move on to February. A year from now right so whatever you start thinking about in your transitioning and changing perhaps it is with a new job um, a new situation a new job venture you know a partnership within the year you will see things are really starting to unfold for you so focus on service your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. So as you are changing, forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So you start off the year thinking these changes are going to be made. I can't wait to make these changes, manifest this, manifest that, new partner, new love life, right? Then you get stuck in you, your head. You start overthinking all these situations. Then things start, not, start to not work out because you're blocking yourself. But as you move into February, you realize worry wart Virgo blocked their own ability to move forward. And you start thinking about what you want a year from now, how you want things to change. Ten of Cups. Focus on service. If this is a new job, a new venture of yours that you want to take on promotion, new project. Yes. Focus on service. Promotion looks really promising February 2019. 
Relationships, though, after the changes you've been going through as you've been evolving and healing and leaving behind what doesn't serve you, trying to be more optimistic moving forward, trying not to overthink things, you get to a point that, hey, it's time for me to stop overthinking. It's time for me to stop worrying. Forgiving and learning needs to happen. So let's clarify that. February 2019. You keep getting the death card. So this may be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. This can also mean that you are in a constant state of transformation. So don't overthink it as you go throughout your path. Don't overthink it. Yes, there is a need to forgive and learn. Perhaps you have had some harsh words with this Scorpio, with a Taurus. A lot of earth and water here. Forgive each other. Learn from it. When you really learn from a situation, you stop the cycle from repeating itself. So a year from now, you will realize that within the year, focus on service, forgiving and learning. You have new, new opportunities here, opportunities for growth, promotion, that emotional fulfillment, constant stream of transformation here for you. This has been coming out month after month for you. And it's okay to cut away the bullshit. But don't go into this forgiving and learning like, you know what, I've had it with this and I've had it with that. And then, you know, we know, Virgo, your words can be very cold when you get to that point. And I get you. I've been pushed to that point, right? Where, you know, you get pushed to a certain point and the way things come out, they they wish they hadn't pushed you to that point, right? But if this is something that you really want to heal from, learn from, move forward, whether it is to reconcile with this partner, whether it is to fix a current situation, forgiving and learning. When you forgive, you release it fully. Don't allow it to come back. That is your February 2019 general energies. Let's move on to March. Remain positive, right? So you're st there you go on your transition path again, right? Remain positive no matter the situation. Work, friends, family, partnership. Now when I pulled out, when I pulled out the daily guidance cards, two came out. Energy work and notice the signs. So that to me tells me, especially after how you're evolving throughout the year. Notice the patterns and then honeymoon. So energy work. Life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs your path upon your path to remind you that you've, you're loved and never alone. And then we have the honeymoon card. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So remain positive. Whether you realize it or not, your partner understands that you have been transitioning, that you have been making some major life changes. They're by you. They stand by you. They share this path with you. For some of you, you may be realizing these spiritual gifts that you've had for quite some time. And maybe some of you have been ignoring them. Maybe some of you have been afraid of them. And maybe by March, you start to realize the depth of your own powers and abilities. So remain positive because this is crucial to becoming your authentic self. Let's clarify these cards. Remain positive. Okay, so at the end of February with forgiving and learning, maybe there's still a touch of despair, sadness, depression. Let it go. You've got two cups standing there waiting for you to let it go. Remain positive as you do so. 
Yeah, see, you are strong enough to do so. Oh, look at that. Energy work with the high priestess. Notice the signs. Your angels are guiding you down this spiritual path. And some of you know what I'm talking about because you've been on that path for quite some time. Seven of Pentacles. Give me that honeymoon card. Clarify that honeymoon card, please. Mm-hmm. <coughs> some of you have been workaholics for quite some time. And perhaps you've neglected your partner, your relationship, or your responsibilities. And there will be some passionate communication about this. The need to take a break together. Go on a weekend getaway. Take a day together. Just, you know, you've put in a lot of work there. You've got two eights. There is something infinite about this cycle with your partner. Whether it's one of you or both of you who are just very hard workers. The communication needs to come in when it's time to take a break together. Move forward. Mind you, this is March. You also have another eight here. So you have three eights. You are changing. You are noticing the gifts that you have had for quite some time. And some of you perhaps didn't know how to, how to really grasp these spiritual changes, these signs from your angels, from the heavens. Remain positive. Let go of that depression, that despair, the sadness. You are strong enough and capable enough to really delve into your spiritual self. If it calls for you to do energy work, take a workshop. You know, learn, take some classes, learn how to do the healing work. Seven and eight of pentacles. So you may have not realized that you've already put in the work here. You are working and working like crazy. Really communicate to yourself, to your partner, what changes are abound and what needs to happen. But don't sacrifice your partner for something that you're not quite sure you understand. Don't be afraid of the spiritual self that is evolving with inside you as you make these changes. So let's see, April 2019, what do we have here? The answer is yes. You've accepted your gifts, your spiritual path, your life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. Well, isn't that true? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So as you are embarking on this spiritual journey, your life purpose starts to come up. You start feeling those changes inside you. You had that death, death card that kept coming out, right? You become that phoenix that rises from the ashes and your angels are so proud of you. They're like, yes, mind you, never mind that this is, okay, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Never mind that this is, you know, in April, in spring when everything changes. So let's clarify this for April 2019. April 2019. The yes card, the life purpose, and keep an open mind. As you're changing, so does your environment, so do your friends, so do your colleagues, whatever it may be. Look at that. Very hot new beginning. You are evolving. You are opening up and being guided towards your life purpose. It shows itself. That's what this Ace of Wands is saying. You may go on a spiritual journey. You may meet someone as you are on that path transitioning towards your life purpose. So keep an open mind because they may not be who you would normally interact with. Life purpose. Let me have a clarifier for life purpose. Wow. The sun card. Your life purpose makes you very happy. 
there's that seven of pentacles again and keep an open mind talk about this soulmate remember soulmate doesn't mean your life partner either soulmate can mean a best friend someone from your soul family from another life and they could be an aries with that emperor card and you've got the sun card here so yes you've got some happy changes coming you start to feel a true sense of self your authenticity is banging you're like that's me and unapologetically no fucks given this is who i am love me or hate me don't give a shit i've put in so much work into myself and guess what i'm in charge of me bye i know that's how i've been lately i know that's how the route i've been going lately you know don't need anyone's approval mm, look at that don't need anyone's approval king of pentacles that's right i'm gonna keep moving forward and i'm gonna do what's best for me by me boy by girl by you know people that are no good for you in your life by right those people that weigh you down so that was may now that was april and now we're moving on to may 2019 so in the near future see only love look past the seeming errors mistakes and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person including yourself your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways and finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so if that person that seemingly didn't seem like they were someone that you would normally date last, you know, in the month of April and now you're in May and you're starting to wonder whether or not this is someone that is right for you, they don't seem like your general type, but really think about is the regular type of person that you've been around or dating the right type of person for you? Perhaps it's time to change those expectations as you are changing your expectations change as we evolve. So tell me about what's going on in the near future. In the near future, Ten of Swords, there is a harsh ending to something, but I feel it. Look at that. I feel as though it's an ending to the old self. See only love, including yourself. As you change who you are, what you're about, you become your true self, authentically and unapologetically you. Maybe you've taken on a different career. Maybe you've switched careers sometime in the spring and you're trying to adjust. Finances and career will become a factor. Look at that. But you're still on point moving forward. You hit a small, slight speed bump in your finances or your career in April, March, April, as you move forward. But we've got the queen and king of pentacles here with a hierophant. So if you're getting married to someone, if you're coming together with someone, there's an end of you being this single Virgo. There's an end of who you were before this coming together. Your finances and career may be affected. Hell yeah, because weddings are expensive, right? But you come together in union and you move forward onto bigger and better. You've let go of those eight cups while well, seven of them are spilled. But you let it go and you move forward together. All of them are looking towards the future and you let go of what didn't serve you in the past. So yes, in the near future come April, you may be planning a wedding. You may be planning some big changes in career, in finance, some expenses that, that may come up. They may, they may, you know, be a factor in your love life. Doesn't mean to, doesn't need to be devastating or anything like that. But remember why you do certain things. Remember who you do it for, right? Out of love. So that was May. Let's move on to June recovery maybe from an expensive wedding right 
or maybe from all the partying and drinking. Cleanse and detoxify. With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, request will help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow or shedding your old ways, right? So you're recovering as you let go of everything that you were before. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. It's important when you go through this type of journey that you do express everything clearly, clearly with the changes that you're going through. So now, as you are recovering from that change in your life you are cleansing yourself you're releasing what didn't serve you in the past but it's important to always communicate to those around you to those closest to you to those that you care about honestly discuss how things have been affecting you how things may affect your partnership As I said early on in the video, this is a year of evolution for Virgo. But trust me, Virgos, for your in time for your next solar return, you are on point. You've let go of the bullshit. Man, is this a year of change and transition for you, Virgos, dropping the dead weight. Here we go. Recovery. Let's clarify. This is June 2019. Recovery. Hmm. Yeah, five of swords, asshole, was in your life, you know? Maybe you're de detoxifying and releasing yourself from toxic relationships. Yeah, you were fighting a lot with someone in particular. Perhaps you were fighting through a relationship, but that had to come to an end. They were stopping you from becoming who you needed to be. They were stopping you from the healing process. And so you come to this point of, you know what? It's time I let go of these toxic energies, relationships, people, situation. Dunzo. Done with it. Heart to heart conversations about how this truly is, you know, making you feel. And so what do you say? You say, uh-uh, this star card needs to go upright. And I'm about to tell you why, because we're going to have this heart to heart conversation. Look at that, because I want to be happy and I'm not happy in the way things are right now. So guess what? I'm about to keep it real and tell you what's up, because we have to have these heart to heart conversations because I am changing. I am becoming the person I am meant to be. To know me is to love me is what I always say, right? Like, I don't I, I have no shame in my game. I am, you know, I am who I am and you should feel the same way when you are confident and at ease and happy with who you are no fucks given you do you boo right so that was june so guess what come july abundance yes baby abundance and joy joy is the highest energy of all it's the magical sense that everything is possible joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. Wedding. Yes, the situation involves marriage. So there is an abundance of joy and happiness and creativity and love and light. You are absolutely changing. And as you get closer to your so next solar return, you are feeling this incredibly optimistic, happy, joyous self. You, are, you have dropped the weight, dropped the bullshit, and you are feeling better than you have ever felt next summer. This is how you're going to be feeling. I know you're like, dang, girl, I got to wait till July. This is why I said you got the power to change these energies. You want it sooner? You got to do the work before. You can't think, no, but I want this now. But have you done the work to be here now? No, this is why everything takes time. So, oh, look at that. I'm just going to show you what comes up. Because you've had to heal from some heartache in a partnership. That's why 
You can't have it now, Virgo. There's some healing left to do. And it's a process. So tell me about this abundance come July 2019. Abundance, joy, and wedding. Whether it's your own marriage, whether it's changes in a marriage, whether it's you attending the wedding of someone and guess what? You meet your boo, right? You're happier than ever celebrating life. Let me have clarity on the abundance card, please. Abundance, joy, and wedding. July sounds like a freaking amazing month for Virgos. Apologies if you can hear my neighbor kids outside. <laughs> Too many cards are flipping up. All right, Virgos, you're all too excited for July 2019, right? Let's do this again. Now we're talking. <laughs> and of course, what do we get? That Scorpio card, the death card. Abundance because you've let go. You've put to death the shit that was weighing you down the shit that was stopping you from manifesting what you truly wanted. And if this is with a water sign or a fire sign, or maybe a fire sign that has water or, wa or a water sign that has fire in their chart, but we have the queen of cups, you're truly emotionally balanced at this point. You have found your inner strength. You've tempered all these crazy expectations. You've surrendered to the fact that you weren't in the place where you thought you were last year, hence meaning now, right? Because by next year, you will know by next July how much you've truly changed and evolved. It's not something that you can fathom right now because you feel as though you've done so much or you've come a long way. And yes, that may be true. But we all have different paths. We all have different lengths to that path paths and we all have different lessons to learn so come july 2019 you've got abundance joy and wedding and let me tell you you are going to have an amazing summer you let go of the petty bullshit you let go of what weighs you down you start to just be happy and content with the way your life is and who you are and you've realized by next summer that you know what when i look back she was right. I wasn't ready last year for what I thought I wanted. This is why it's coming to you July 2019 or perhaps sooner. Maybe you meet this person before. Maybe you're already with this person, right? So here we go. August. Leo season, beginning of Virgo season. Success. What am I saying? What did I just say? This is a year of evolution, of transformation. You don't realize and you can't even visualize or fathom the changes that you are about to embark this year. Just when you thought that you've changed enough, you've evolved en enough, you've forgiven en uh, enough, you move on, you let people go, you just keep moving. Let me tell you, success is here for you. You've made some steady progress and that's why you don't really see how big these changes have been. Yes, it may have taken a year, two years, five years. But the angels are saying, hey, look, we acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. Love yourself love the changes, love the progress, love the passion that's within your heart and allow that passion to exude from you, the passion for life, for the changes, the outcome, the goals that you want and how you're going to manifest that. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Wow, Virgo, we have just taken on, you know, inhale it, let it sink in. This has been a year, 2018 to 19. Happy birthday, Virgos. A huge year of change and transformation for most of you.
for those of you that are ready to embark on that path for those of you that are ready and willing to make these changes you see you may be involved with the water sign i had the full card in the knight of cups saying new changes new opportunities so let's see tell me about this success yes baby look at that those laurels those wings that new light breathing life into you just in time for your next birthday how freaking amazing is that a year goes by fast you and i both know that understand that the steady progress is what you need to continue to move forward change doesn't come easy and it doesn't come quickly either and so although you've had the burden of change you've stood your ground you've continued to do what's best for yourself and you have a new sense of self and passion for your life because you've done the work you needed to Three of Pentacles flew out, but I'm finishing with that Eight of Pentacles. So, very, very amazing, passionate, fiery, goal-oriented, evolutionary, and revolutionary year. Because some of you may not be ready for this change. You may battle it. You may fight it. At some point, you've got to give in to the universe because they're guiding you. They're telling you, this is what needs to take place for you. Let me have a message from your angels. Layla, spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective, right? So like I said, some of you may not be ready for such big changes. The evolution of who you are, who you are meant to be. One more card, please. You've put in a lot of work into who you are. Look at that. I am the angel of peace. I bring new tranquility and a smoother road ahead, Virgo. These are such amazing messages for you. This is your year ahead outlook. So many amazing cards. They all speak of a very very positive transition although there may be times where you feel like you don't want to change you don't want this transition it is all for your highest good now I'm gonna pull from the angels of abundance card sorry for the shaking there my bad angel of abundance card tell me what messages do you have for Virgo partnership allow helpful supportive partnerships into your personal life and career and both parties benefit as a result you are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources so isn't that what your entire year of oracle cards well hasn't it shown that one more card please i know i said this was a shortened reading but obviously <laughs> it's kind of what you know Kind of what a Virgo does. It takes a little bit longer than they need to to make sure they get the job done. Exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising. And it becomes its own reward. Virgo, again, you have some very, very amazing positive changes coming into your life you're evolving although every path of evolution is a difficult one because sometimes we are not ready to change sometimes we're not ready for what the universe has in store for us but the, the universe is saying you're ready for this Ready or not, changes are coming. You're evolving into the person that you were meant to be. So Virgo, have a very wonderful birthday. If you like this reading and you'd like for me to do a personal 12-month birthday reading, find my information in the description box below. 
Um, right now, I am pretty full. However, recorded readings of this nature can be done within a week's turnaround time, depending on how many readings I have at the moment. Also, if you are not following me on Instagram, head on over there. Find me at Virgo Angel Tarot. I do post daily with weekly live readings and uh, I'm currently holding some giveaways. Hopefully you guys see this in time to enter those giveaways. Again, thank you so much for all your support, all the birthday wishes, all the gifts you all have sent me, messages, all of the above. I love you guys and appreciate you so, so much. Take care. Bye.